This is one of the first videos taken of the volcano in Tonga in the South Pacific Islands three or four days ago. And if you have been following the news, there was a tsunami afterwards and there are reports of casualties in Tonga, uh, the ash, the cloud, the sulphur makes drinking water, not much electricity, quite shocking there. And I am following this step by step, especially related to the aftermath. But let's go into what we want to talk about today. And this is about the Free Gorges Dam, once again, and information from Yale Environment 360, published at the Yale School of the Environment. Should one dam fail, the rush of water would cause dams downstream to collapse like dominoes. Here is a map of China, and this is the first map I've actually found, and I've been searching for a long time, near enough of all the dams in China. Now, quoted, 94,000 dams, 50% are, should be decommissioned. The Chinese government or the Water Resources Agency, the Ministry of Water Resources, says they are going to repair this. But... We have covered this before. If one dam goes, especially on the Yangtze River upstream of Chongqing, there's about 11 or 12 dams. The Free Gorges is the last line, so to speak, of defense. And what would happen if one dam cracked, leaked, collapsed, partially collapsed, would be an influx of water, just like what happened in Brazil, which I have been covering as well over the last couple of days and the effects would be something like this. Also from Yale Environments, the damage dams caused river ecosystems is immense, turning free-flowing rivers into lifeless lakes. Now, I can't find any pictures of these in China, but I have found a picture of a lifeless lake that you can see in Australia. And this is like a fishbowl with no pump inside it, pumping water. The water just is nothing it's murky it's duddy it's muddy no kind of animal fish could or could live there apart from you could say the mosquitoes and these kind of insects that would thrive in this kind of environment now this is something quite strange we've always quoted that china has 94,000 dams now here is a picture of the United States of America. There, in the US, there are tens of thousands of dams. But this is the strange thing. Why does it say, in America, 94,000 dams? And why do they say, in China, 94,000 dams? Did the Chinese just copy the number of the United States because it's the same kind of land size, shape? mass etc so this brought me to think the ccp are not exactly very truthful they seem to copy a lot of things are there ninety four thousand dams in china who would you believe someone who tells porky pies lies all the time china or the united states who most of the time <laughs> i'm going to get into a lot of trouble with this a lot of the time, they do have the information freely available like this. You can see there. That sounds more realistic with the map of dams. Food for thought, 94 in both countries. Very strange to have exactly the same number. 
I do have more information coming up about um, the free gorges in a little while and what also is happening in the channel. But I would like to read you this, and this is t entitled, Be Aware of Potential Risk of Dam Failure in Your Community. This is based in the United States. Approximately 15,000 dams in the United States are classified as high hazard potentials, meaning that their failure could result in the loss of life. Dams can fail for a number of reasons, including overtopping, floods, acts of sabotage, structural failure, materials in the, used in the dam construction. The worst dam failure in the United States was 1989 in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Over 2,000 people lost their life there or, and many more were left homeless. Dams pr present risks, but they provide many benefits irrigation, flood control, and recreation. Dams have been identified as a key resource of our natural infrastructure in vulnerable and is vulnerable to terrorist attack. Now, a lot of that we have covered before in this channel. Just go to the playlist on the homepage and you can see quite a few videos related to dams, mainly concentrated, yes, granted on the free gorges. But let's continue reading related to this. States have the primary responsibility for protecting populations from dam failure. Of the approximate 94,000 dams in the United States, hold on a minute please, state governments regulate about 70% of the 70%, about 20, 27,000 dams throughout the United States are damaged or failing resulting in significant property damage, lifetime disruption, utilities, business disruption, displacement of families on their homes and environmental damage. I don't know, to be honest with you, how many dams have been built in the United States since the 1950s. In China, you could say whatever the amount is. Again, I do find it strange that both countries have 94,000. I think China is just saying they have that amount, but I start to think that they don't have that amount. The construction in the United States has a better quality control. In China, quality control is how much money goes into the back pocket of the corrupt official. That's it. And then they go and live in Tahiti or some um, tropical island or hide their money in Panama. So this does refer to the United States. And the, the dam I do like to say, which is marvellous, which is the Hoover Dam, which was built in the 1930s during the recession of the United States, is still standing. Even though Lake Mead is not doing incredibly well at the moment, it's still working and it's working at a good high efficiency if the water was there. The other dams in China, they're the same age, they're like from 70 years old to 20 years old. The Three Gorges, oh my God, it's producing 20% electricity. It's tiny compared to what it's supposed to. But as we discovered yesterday, maybe they're saving this water level for green energy for the Olympic Games. And they can just, the electricity can be transferred from the Three Gorges to Beijing in a matter of seconds. I presume I'm not an engineer related to that. Let's go into the levels of the three gorges. I do believe it's all in English for today. Woohoo! Here we go. Kutan is up at 170.44 and the three gorges is down at 170.18. That's two centimeters down from yesterday. There's no inflow, but the outflow is really low at 5,760, which goes on to the weather. And the weather does look like that. I have expanded this map to the whole of China or most of China. And at first for the next couple of days or the next 24 hours, not much there. But there is a little bit of rain coming towards the central part of China. There is rain along the Yangtze River, not a massive amount, a couple of millimeters here and there, but also some snow is coming 
back to the area of the three gorges it won't hit the actual dam exactly but it will hit more of the mountains the gorges around the dam Okay, a piece of good news changing away. My channel, finally, after months and months of waiting, has got over the 30,000 subscribers mark. Woohoo! 30,072. This morning, my time, which is 12 hours ahead of New York time. So, many thanks to everyone who's been supporting my channel over a couple of years, and welcome to the over... 876 subscribers new subscribers in the last 28 days i do hope especially to the new guys you enjoy the channel please do leave comments in the section below and for those people who do watch the channel but haven't subscribed please do so i'm going to move on and i want to go to this picture here I'd like to say hello to janet taylor who is the newest member of my very exclusive club that you can join in the link in the description below yes this is the advertising part of my channel so many thanks to janet and the other members are randy icos paul tony and pacific pammy who's the uh, original member thank you for all and yes gotta do it gotta do it because it's for a good cause this is the mug you can buy from the description below it's 15 dollars. it all goes to all the profits go to charity not too sure how many mugs have been sold but once we get to a reasonable amount the money will come here and this money is going to an orphanage by the way that we're buying the actual goods for the kids not just the cash for the orphanage because it always usually goes to administration and none for the children brings us to a close on this lovely tuesday thank you as always for your time any comments please leave them in the section below i do go through quite a few of them i know because one video sort of went over fifty thousand. i get some people saying and some other things like that that's okay i'm used to it i i enjoy all the comments positive negative as long as they're constructive some of you may have put in some bad words with it unfortunately when these words hits on the comments it goes to my um, a, a separate file on youtube that i would have to monitor and if there are any bad words then they won't be put on the regular comment section i'm waffling on too much it's time for a cup of coffee and i will see you on the 19th be good be well be safe thank you bye bye